I want you to see if you recognize any patterns here. Listen to what Van Jones has said at this same conference back in March. Native American sisters and brothers who were pushed and bullied and mistreated and shoved into all the land we didn't want, where it was all hot and windy. Well, guess what? Renewable energy. Guess what? Solar industry. Guess what? Wind industry. They now own and control 80% of the renewable energy resources. No more broken treaties. No more broken treaties. Give them the wealth. Give them the wealth. Give them the dignity. Give them the respect that they deserve. No justice on stolen land. We owe them a debt. Let me go back up here. Can you believe wealth should be taken from one group and given to another based on race? And should anyone that believes that work with the President of the United States? Give them the wealth. Give them the wealth. Is that what you voted for? Does it sound familiar at all? Have we heard that before? We believe God sanctioned the rape and robbery of an entire continent. We believe God ordained African slavery. We believe God makes Europeans superior to Africans and superior to everybody else, too. I don't believe that. It may also bring to mind the man who gave the prayer at President Obama's inauguration ceremony, a man whom the president just bestowed the Presidential Medal of Freedom. The Reverend Joseph Lowry. Listen to what he says here. Joy of a new beginning. We ask you to help us work for that day when black will not be asked to get back, when brown can stick around, when yellow will be mellow, when the red man can get ahead, man, and when white will embrace what is right. When white will embrace what is right. This was discussed at the time and nobody said anything and you heard the crowd, they all laughed and everybody thought, oh, this old man, you know, that's just a flashback from the 1960s and the movement back in the 60s and that's, you know, it was the way people spoke back then. It was also, uh, Jeremiah Wright became the crazy uncle of Barack Obama and he said crazy things and we all have crazy uncles. What is the excuse on Van Jones? Let's try it again. Here is more from Van Jones. Again, to be fair, this is from his ancient history catalog titled, This Last March. What about our immigrant sisters and brothers? What about our immigrant sisters and brothers? What about people who come here from all around the world who we're willing to have out in the fields with poison being sprayed on them, poison being sprayed on them because we have the wrong agricultural system, and then we're, and we're willing to poison them and poison the earth to put food on our table, but we don't want to give them rights, and we don't want to give them dignity, and we don't want to give them respect. We don't want to give them rights. No, come through the front door. I, I want you here. If you're willing to do those jobs that, quite honestly, lazy Americans just think they're above, I want you here. You renew us. But let's, let's go back here. We're now intentionally poisoning immigrants. We're now intentionally poisoning. Well, who is we? This is from an interview he did as the head of the Ella Baker Center. We're really entering a third wave of environmentalism in the United States. The white polluters and the white uh, environmentalists are essentially steering poison into the people of color communities. Okay. What did we tell you last night? That he found a better way to bring his message, a more mainstream way. George Soros and his blogging minions now are saying that Van Jones just had a few youthful indiscretions. When? How old was he in March? 
How is he now a fully converted capitalist? I didn't hear it there. He's qualified to make decisions at the highest levels of our government? Or, or he's at least involved in them? Did you take him at his word? Should we take him at his word when he said, and I quote, I am willing to forego the cheap satisfaction of the radical pose for the deep satisfaction of the radical ends? America, when will we listen? Look. The president has tried to pass himself off as a guy who just sat in Jeremiah Wright's, you know, Black Liberation Theology Church for 20 years. For 20 years. Is it, is anyone, do they really believe that when he first said, I didn't hear those things, did you believe him? Then he said, well, I, I heard them, but I didn't really notice them. Did you believe that one? Then it was just Jeremiah Wright's just a crazy old uncle. Okay, so great, that's Jeremiah Wright. What is it this time? What is the excuse now for appointing the same kind of radical to an influential position in our government? Are white people poisoning people of color? Yes or no, Mr. President? Yes or no? Let me give you the benefit of the doubt. I don't think this makes it any better. Did you vet this man? Did you, did you miss something? How did you miss this? It's called Google. How did, did the FBI not do its job? I mean, we found all of this stuff. Hey, ABC, NBC, well, I know where NBC is. CBS, where the hell are you? CNN, where are you? Do you think the FBI or the President of the United States didn't know that this man, just weeks before he started working in the White House, said these things that we have the what was it the wrong agricultural system when did he become an expert on agriculture the white house issued a statement last week when we asked them if they were aware of van jones communist self-avowed communist activities their response was the green job special advisor is just verily very narrowly focused on creating green jobs that's it as if, as if that answers the question of why is this guy in our government anywhere near the president it doesn't answer it it doesn't and they want you to stop asking this question when will america take off the rose-colored glasses and start seeing the world around them. Start seeing things for what they really are. Look, I, you know, I, 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 <laughs> I'd really like to share with you a personal story from today, but I can't because it puts my family in danger. Do you think I want to get on the air every night and tell you this stuff? Do you, know who, do you know who I am? The media will they'll say, oh, he's just a clown. Well, you know what? I am a clown. I am a guy who just, I, 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 I just, I just want to have laughs and fun. I want, I'm a capitalist. I want to make money. I want to do all that stuff. I want to live my life with my family. I don't want to have to live with security and walls and gates and everything else. Do you think I want to live that way? You know, maybe there are some people like that. That ain't me. That is not me. I don't want to believe these things. But unfortunately, I find them true. These statements by Van Jones are from the spring. No one will bring you this information. Why? Why? Two reasons I can come up with, either they are afraid, because it is a scary place to be, or because they don't think that it matters in America anymore. I know I'm not the only American left who thinks this is important. It is important. Share it with your neighbors. I'm going to put this monologue, these clips, up on the website. Please. Go to glennbeck.com, sign up for our free email newsletter. Go to foxnews.com, look at these clips, look at the information, spread them yourself, send them to your friends. Let me leave you one more time with the words of Van Jones. No, we're gonna change the whole system. We're gonna change the whole thing. 
We're not going to put a new battery in a broken system. We want a new system.